ultimately what we're doing here is we're building uh, liquid crystal um, molecules to be used in disensitized solar cells, which uh, disensitized solar cells are a newer type of uh, solar panel. So right now the solar cells that are commercially used are generally made out of silicon and they're really expensive, um, but an alternative type of solar cell is the disensitized solar cell. We're trying to incorporate liquid crystals into that type of cell to make it more efficient and more cost effective. The only problem with disensitized solar cells is traditionally they tend to be very inefficient and so building our liquid crystals we're attempting to increase the efficiency of uh, disensitized solar cells and make them an actual uh, uh, marketable item. Most of our uh, work that we do in the lab consists of synthesizing different compounds and applying those inside of disensitized solar cells and testing the properties of them and also categorizing them. Each of us in the lab work on synthesizing different types of molecules and compounds um, with the ultimate goal of combining them to make a unified product. This is long term down the road obviously, but ultimately to find the most efficient uh, molecules to be used in disensitized solar cells for a renewable energy source. It really incorporates a lot of different things that you learn from different classes. It's nice to be able to apply things that you've learned, things that you've studied in the classroom. Um, but it becomes more than just you know, a fact that you memorize or a page in a book that you, know, you get tested on because you actually use these things when you're, when you're working in a lab. What I've gained and what I am gaining from this, uh, this entire project is the, uh, the confidence to be able to work with my education that I've received here. There's a big difference going from textbook education to real world scenarios. And this research really ties it all together and, and makes you a lot more confident in what you've learned here. With solar energy, it's become more and more looked at as, as a, the future, future way to solve some of our energy problems. And to be a part of that is just unbelievable. And, um, and getting, getting results and things like that just shows that it really is possible to find these alternative forms of energy. We'll be able to publish this research and other groups, other scientific research groups, will be able to take that information and build that into something larger. Best case scenario, we actually start producing our own cells that at least produce promise and ultimately lead to something larger than just um, you know, organic synthesis, but um, a new renewable energy source.